Have you ever wished you could see Pala on the television? Well, of course you do. It's a hot new type of color television that's a craze in the neighborhood. Well, why don't you go down to your local department store and check it out? You see, there's a whole lot of television here in the department store powered by American manufacturers. Oh, Jimmy, those helpers are for you. Those are for the Borgie families. This is the right one for your family over here. Well, Jimmy, it is possible with the cathode ray tubes. The cathode, a sort of heated filament in the glass tube. Out of the cathode, rays of electrons go from the filament to the vacuum inside of the gas tube. The electrons are then focused by an anode in a tight beam and hits the other end of the tube. This side is covered phosphor. The phosphor glows when struck by a beam of electrons. This makes it technical, you see. Oh, you're, you're thick, son. Quick, son. And a smart boy. I see you, Jimmy. Technical is a series of diagrams so that produce a color motion picture. It was first used in 1916 and the soon became widespread in Hollywood films, including The Wizard of Oz and Adventures of Robin Hood. Hit a prism and split into red, blue, and green negatives of the picture. It then gets switched to positive and soaked in complementary colors. The three got their dyes transferred to make one image again. You see? Well, now, Jimmy Technicolor lets you see a wide range of colors throughout the spectrum. You see, the red is the red, and blue is the blue. You can tell the most American patriots versus communists that try to spy on you, like those boys over there. What? See, Technicolor is part of American innovation. It is a part of the American tradition of innovation that drives this country. All drive for technology defines the free world, Jimmy. While those communists, they say stagger. They're all the same. Oh, oh, that's right, my boy. Well, that's a great question, Jimmy. I'm the young boy like you ask the same thing. But first, we need to talk about how it's made in order to discuss trade. Capital ray tubes are the only things that make up television. There's also glass for the screen. And wood for the exterior. for the wires and speakers. There's a lot of stuff inside the TV, Jimmy. Some of the parts are manufactured here, but some are in the parts of the world. The increase in globalization is allowed for more trade between countries. For example, when we get some of our metals from China, Great Britain, all the colonies of Her Majesty's Commonwealth. All the necessary parts then come together in assembly factories around the U.S. This is called American manufacturing, Jimmy, and that's the best thing in the world. The lock is built it. The company sells more televisions. As with the increase in globalization, consumerism goes from a national to international stage, Jimmy. from across the world buy. The company makes money. All jobs are made. All middle class families are born in the mass market stay stable. This is the power of capitalism, my boy. Does that make sense to you, Jimmy? Now that you know about other televisions, would you like to go buy one?
Well, stay safe, Jimmy. Make sure to be a responsible consumer and buy a color television. Wow, look, Jimmy, you fast color television. Y'all stay safe. Make sure to watch American programs and be part of the American consumer.